Hey guys, I'm gonna attempt to go over holding pattern entry procedures here. We'll go through three examples that differ slightly, but first I just wanna go over the basics. So this method's worked for me pretty well. It took me a while to figure it out. I think there's a lot of confusion initially when looking at these, it looks really complicated, but once you figure out the method and someone shows you, uh, it gets really simple and there's no reason to kind of be floundering around and trying to figure it out. So here we go. So first thing I like to do is obviously read the question. So this question is, a pilot receives this ATC clearance, clear to the ABC Vortac, so that's a holding fix, hold west on the 270 radial, uh, what is the recommended procedure to enter the holding pattern? So we know we're gonna be holding over the Vortac. So I'm gonna write that as a little triangle to start up here. So here's my little Vortac, boom. And then we were told that we we're gonna hold west on the 270 radial. So you gotta have a knowledge of, you know, 360, 90, 180, 270, and then you can kind of fill in the blanks, right? So we're gonna be on the 27 radial. So that's gonna be to the left there. Now, one thing that is law with these is you're always gonna make a right turn unless it specifies a, a left. Always, always right, always right. And a easy way to rem uh, remember this is opposite of pattern at an airport. Pattern is left, but a holding pattern is gonna be right. So if you're doing you know, laps at the airport, you gotta go left. If you're doing holding patterns over a fix, you gotta go right. So whenever we're looking at these entries to uh, a holding pattern, always right, unless it tells you left. And the same thing at an airport, it's always left unless it gives you a non-standard right turn procedure. So just something to remember, it's opposite, right? So we're gonna go ahead. We're always flying into the fix, into the fix, no matter which one it gives us, we're always going into it. That's our inbound leg, inbound leg. I'm gonna put an arrow there because we're always going into the fix and we know that it's a right turn, it's a standard turn. So we're gonna go right and back out in a circle. So I'll put a little arrow going outbound there, okay? So I know that I'm on the two seven right here, two seven. Now the next thing I do is I go 70 degrees into my oval, okay? So whichever side my oval's on, so my outbound leg is over here because it's a right turn, I'm gonna go 70 degrees that way. So 270 and then 70 degrees this way would be minus 70. So that's gonna put me at 200. So I have 200 degrees there, okay? Boom. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is I just go ahead and I find the opposite of 200. So that's gonna be over here. So it's gonna be 200 minus 180, because it's 180 degrees to the other half. So it's the opposite side, but it's just 180 degrees, right? Because 360 is a whole circle, 180 is half. So 200 minus 180 is gonna give me 20 degrees. So what we just did, we went 70 degrees down, boom, always 70 degrees into your pattern. And then we did 180 to do the other line. Boom, so we have a straight line there. You have a straight line, you're in good company. You've just found your direct entry sector. That's all direct, okay? So what we wanna do now is find your teardrop and you wanna find your parallel. And it's super easy. You're gonna do your inbound leg and just extend it. There you go. And what's the opposite of 270? Over here, what's the opposite of west? East is 90, cool. So now that's all we have to do. We have all of our sectors now, just like that. And teardrop is right over here. It is the opposite of this 70 degree. If you did proofs in geometry, 
you'd know that this 70 has to be equal to this 70. So I'll go teardrop over here, okay? And then the big one over here has to be parallel, okay? And then you'll know you did it right if you have areas that equal 70 and 110, okay? Because parallel, this whole area over here, 200 to 90, is 110 degrees from this point to that point. This one we already did to kind of start off everything. We know it's 70 degrees between here and here. We know that this one, then again, because it's the opposite, if you did proofs, you know that this one has to be equal to this one. So this one is also 110, 110, and that makes this one 70. So you have 180 degrees here and 180 degrees there. It's a 360 degree circle, okay? So we still haven't figured out exactly uh, what our entry pattern is yet. We said we are cleared. We didn't go over heading. So our heading is 150 degrees, okay? And it's usually gonna give you um, an HSI or something like that, right? That's gonna give you or a heading indicator that shows you your direction. So you can either look at that and place your airplane on your paper at um, a direction of 150 so 150 would be down here, so I'd be down this way, right? Another way to do it is look at the other side of the needle. So you'll have the arrow on the needle pointing whichever direction you're going. But if I want to, I can look at this, and this side is gonna tell me exactly where I'm at, okay? So if it's pointing to 150, I know that this is gonna be 330 because it's on the opposite side, and I'm sitting at 330. Okay, just the opposite, boom. So that's the first one. Let's do two more, two more different examples. Let me pull it up here. Uh, let's see, 145. Cool, so here's the next one. We're gonna do, you receive this ATC clearance. Hold east on the ABC Vortac on the zero niner zero radial left turns. What is the recommended procedure to enter the holding pattern? Okay. Oh, and this one's direct. I don't know if I said it's direct, but obviously it's in the direct side. So boom, that one's direct. Um, so this next one, hold east, cool, over the Vortac, great, zero, niner, zero. So let's start with drawing it out. I have my little triangle because we're gonna be over the vortex. We always go into it, no matter which way we're coming into it. We said we're gonna hold on the zero, nine, or zero. So that's over here, 90 degrees east. So I'm gonna draw a straight line. We always go into it, boom. Uh, and it said left turns. That's why I wanted to do this one. So if it's left and we into it, and if I turn left, you know, I gotta go this way. So I'll go ahead and finish my circle there, my oval rather, and I'll be going outbound there, okay? So we get into, turn left, and outbound. So that's gonna be 90 degrees. Great. So the next thing we said we do is we go 70 degrees into your outbound leg or into your oval, okay? So 70 plus 90 is gonna be 160, I believe. 160. Cool. So I have 90 and 160. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the opposite of 160, and you can take your calculator and just go 160 plus 180, because 180 is going to get us to the other side, right? So 160 plus 180 it's gonna give us 340, and I got my calculator right here. Just to make sure, you know, a lot of this you can do in your head, but sometimes I like to punch it in, especially when you're gonna be doing your test, just to make sure you are perfect. So, I have 340 up here. It's my opposite of 160, the other side. And I have my seven degree sector here, because we always go 70 degrees. Now what we just found is, this whole section here is gonna be direct. So if I'm over here coming in, it's gonna be direct. Now, all I'm gonna do here 
is finish my line. And you could start there if you wanted, if you want to do a longer line, but I'm just gonna, I know that I'm holding on 90. Let's continue that line straight out. Now, we know that since 70's here, 70 has to be here too. So a teardrop is always gonna be 70, okay? And the teardrop hides right over here behind the direct, okay? So teardrops over there, and we know that a parallel is always 110, so we know the parallel is there. So we have direct, which is 180 degrees. We have your parallel, which is 110 degrees, and your teardrop, which is 70 degrees. And that's how you know your proportions are correct. That's how big the area is, right? So now, what did we say? We are on a heading of four, five, 60 degrees. So if we were on a heading of 60, we gotta figure out which way we're pointed, right? So we'd be pointed above the 90, we'd be down here pointing up, right? But you can also look at the opposite side of that indicator in the base of that line is gonna tell you where you're at. So 240 is where I'm at. So 240 would be down here, right? 180 is there, 270 is there. So between 270 and 180, I'd be over here somewhere. Boom. So this tells me I have a parallel entry, okay? Parallel, let's check it. Amazing. One more, one more different one. This one's a little, little stranger. So uh, we did a right turn, which is standard. We did a left turn because it specified left. That's the only time we do it. And then we're gonna do one over a DME fix here. So let me pull that up, 1748. So this one, you'll get a map, okay? Let me bring this over. You get like a map, you get all your uh, Victor Airways and such, right? So for this one, we are gonna be looking at strut, okay? Strut intersection. It wants us at strut intersection headed eastbound, so we're gonna be heading that way. ATC instructs you to hold west on the 10 DME fix. So what's important is we're holding over here, we're holding west of strut, but we're coming into it east. So the inbound legs will be here, and we'll be holding on this side, okay? Um, the rest of it is uh, hold west on uh, LCH on Victor 306. Standard turns, what procedure is recommended, okay? So this one. We have a radial, right? Victor Airways are already placed on radials. So that's the one thing you gotta remember is it's not gonna be a perfect hold west on 270, hold east on 90. You gotta look at the VOR and see what radial is coming out of it and where that fixes or DME fixes along, excuse me, along the way. And then from there, I can figure out my problem. So this one, strut is located on the 265th radial, okay? And I'll show you that here. Let's see, do, 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 do. 265 shoots out do, 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 to strut. So I know that west over here is gonna be 265 degrees, okay? So I'm gonna write that out because I'm gonna be holding west. So I'm gonna, there's my little DME fix. I'm gonna be holding we said 265, so that's, I mean, barely under 270, just barely. So it's almost no, but it's not, because sometimes they will get you with right on the money degrees and stuff. Um, so 265, and we said that we have standard turns. So if I'm going into it, because I'm always going to be going into it on the inbound leg, I'm going to come out, right turn, because it's standard, okay? And then we said we always go 70 degrees into our oval. So 70 degrees is going to be right down here. We'll get out our calculator just to proof ourselves here. 265 minus 70 is 195. Boom. Cool. And then I'm going to do 180 minus that. And that'll put me up here. So 195 minus 180. My opposite side is gonna be 15 degrees. And then we just found that line, this whole 180 degree sector over here on the side of my holding is gonna be direct. So if I'm coming from that way, I'm gonna hold direct. 
Now all I gotta do, remember, is just finish drawing this line out. Cool. And then we know that this is the opposite side of 265. So 265 minus 180 is gonna put me at 85 degrees over here. Then we know from geometry that opposites are gonna be the same. This is a 70 degree, so this has to be my 70 degree over here. And a 70 degree sector is going to always be my teardrop, okay? And then my parallel has to be the 110 degrees left over down here. And then you'll know that the teardrop 70 is this one because it's not in the holding uh, inbound or outbound leg, right? So if you're like, oh, is it this 70? I have two 70s. Which, tier, which one is the teardrop? You never enter if for the teardrop if, you, if that's the inbound or outbound zone. It's always the other side, okay? It's the sneaky side back here next to direct is teardrop, okay? So now, where are we coming in from? This one's kind of funny because you are on Victor um, 306 heading east. So I'm actually on this 265th radial already, right? Because I'm coming on the radial. The radial we said was coming out at 265. So I'm running straight into the inbound leg. So if I'm coming straight over into the inbound, you'd assume that I would just enter direct, okay? So that's it um, for holding patterns. I know it's a little bit sloppy there, but you know the, the biggest takeaway is it's always a standard right turn. You're always going into the fix. Um, and then once you go 70 degrees into your outbound leg, you'll go ahead, mark that off, find the other side. That'll be your direct side. And then you'll just finish your line through your inbound leg and the small 70s your teardrop and the remaining is parallel. So hopefully that helps.